What's going on YouTube? This is Nick again with Teach All Tech and today we've got the hands-on and first impression of the new iPhone X. So first thing, I just want to go ahead and thank my girlfriend for letting me borrow her phone. This is not my device as you could tell by the rose wallpaper. Alright, so one of the first things you're going to notice about the iPhone X is this screen. I'm not going to lie, it does look very good. I'm coming from a Google Pixel, so to sort of understand what I'm working with here, this is a slightly bigger screen, slightly bigger phone, however, extremely thin. It feels good in the hand, and this is something that I actually really want to applaud Apple for, is this feels solid. This really does feel like a thousand dollar device, and you're going to understand that as soon as you pick it up for the first time. We're running it at full brightness right now, so you can see the colors really do pop on this. And we've even got some contrasting colors for the background, but you can still see the text just fine. Another thing that I noticed on here too is even though it does have that glass back on there, as soon as you put a case on here, it, it's going to be protected and it will feel really solid in the hand, um, especially with you know that added weight and it, you really don't have to worry about how thin the device is. It feels extremely solid and very well built. So. Well done to Apple for that. So just to give you guys a little bit of a taste for the speed of this device, we're just going to go ahead and pull up a Wall Street Journal page, see how fast it renders that, and we are using AT&T's LTE network right now. Alright, so that was pretty fast. Not bad. It looks like it loaded everything. Extremely crisp text on here also. You guys really got to you know, go to a store or ask one of your friends who has this to check it out and see. It looks very good on here. All right, and then just to show you guys, because I know you're thinking about it, let's see how fast this camera can take some pictures. So you can see it pulls up very fast. And this is a camera taking a video of another camera. So it's going to look a little bit interesting. But on my end, the, the colors, again, looks extremely good. So we've got a delicious green apple right here in front of us. I mean, you can just tell. You can see all the details on there. And it contrasts with the red and green. So Christmas theme here. Uh, but it looks really good. Let's see how fast that burst is. Okay, all right, yeah. Very fast, no lag whatsoever. It took nine seconds or nine photos there in less than a second. So extremely impressive with that. Let's go ahead and close the apps out here just to get another little taste for the speed of this device. So go ahead and pull up the app store. Extremely fast, 28 updates. She definitely needs to get on that, but it pulled up very fast. All right, and one of the things I know you guys are curious about is how are the apps adapting to this new display? So you can see we've got the curves up here, curves down here. The home screen does a good job of filling it. We'll pull up the settings. You can see settings is gonna fill the full screen. So the Apple apps on here, anything system, is gonna look really good because it has already been updated for the new display. However, let's go to a popular app like Spotify. So you can kind of see here, there are black bars on the top and the bottom where they haven't quite got the update yet. So a lot of apps, they just haven't been updated for this new screen. And because a lot of people don't really have the iPhone X yet, there's not a big incentive to update them right away. However, this will change over time and just give them a little bit, you know, a couple months maybe. You will see apps that have been updated and they're taking advantage of that full screen. Um, let's go ahead and check another one of these. So the Apple, again, the system apps, they have been updated for it. And you can see it does look really good when they do that. So it will be nice when this is done. Um, it is going to take a little bit of time, though. So if you have an iPhone X, just get ready for the black bars and understand you can't do anything about it for now. But once they have been updated, it will look good. So as someone who uses the Pixel with that fingerprint scanner, it is very hard to give that up. I'm not going to give Apple a thumbs up for this, unfortunately. However, the Face ID is very well implemented. So once you get used to that, I'm sure it's not a big deal, um, especially with that ambient display where you can just, you know, phone's off in your pocket, you pull it out, just tap the display once and it automatically comes on. So it makes it nice and easy. And while we're on the lock screen here, just one more thing to note. Um, said. So these shortcuts in the bottom, they've changed how they interact on previous devices. So instead of doing like a swipe or just a tap to launch these, you're actually going to do the 3D touch, hold it down till you feel it vibrate, and then it'll automatically launch the camera and vice versa, automatically turn on the torch. So the phone's only been out for about a week or so, and luckily there's none of these issues on this device. However, if you look at my other video, you'll notice that some people are having a green line of death problem, and 
there's something about a touch screen issue where if you go from a warm environment to a cold one, then your phone becomes unresponsive. Um, none of these have been occurring on here, so it's not like these issues are plaguing every single device. However, it is something to keep in mind if you get an iPhone X and you want to know how to fix those, go ahead and check out my other video, which I'll throw a link in right here. And again, since this isn't my device, we're not going to be able to do a full review, so I can't tell you guys you know, my experience with it after a week. Uh, how the battery life is, but all in all, we're going to give the iPhone X a thumbs up. Again, you really got to go check one out and pick it up in your hand to really understand how good the display looks and how just how solid it feels. As an Android user, I'm really not used to the iPhone feeling as solid in my hand as something like a Pixel or a Note. However, this they did a good job with this one. So again, thumbs up from me. Well done, Apple. And I'm looking forward to their next device release. Thanks. Thanks.